later. <laughs> um, when she was born, uh, she came after three boys. And uh, you know, fathers like that, you know what that means. You get a girl after three boys. <laughs> you know, the joy of the kitchen. Uh, and we, we didn't spare
children dying because of uh, malnutrition. But one thing don't forget about Parma. Parma is, is a town that was held hostage by Boko Haram for over a year. I went to that field, they left a lot of hiding there. A lot of children were sick. And there was an outbreak of diarrhea and vomiting. And that started killing the children. At first, it was 10 to 15 children a day. That's horrible. You can't comprehend that. How can 10 to 15 children die a day? That story got from uh, Doctors Without Order. They published a story on it so that the attention will be drawn to, to that situation. And we said, well, we have to be there. We have a mobile clinic. Let's go. We have our food supplement that's been used for uh, malnutrition. And we moved to Bama. We spent seven months there. At first, we, when we got there, our clinic was losing five to six children every day. You know? Now, the interesting thing is that the malnutrition doesn't kill them. It, gives, it, it, it eats them gradually. It's a long process. But once there's an infection, a simple infection like diarrhea or vomiting, they die in numbers. Because their immune system is down. They can't fight any form of bacteria, so they die. And that is why what, what the staff is doing, I think is the most important aspect of, of uh, uh, giving aid to people. Because you give them a chance to fight whatever situation they're in. You know. um, it has been a good journey, and uh, today is one more today. And I think it's a basic need for, for everyone. Everyone should have good water and a chance to survive. Uh, that's why we feel all the way here, hoping for more. Yeah, it's never the same when you go there until you go there and see.